ain't cleaned yourself up yet, Tanya? What the fuck is wrong with you? You said it was all good on the phone the other day. I, I was, and you know, I did. I, I was clean. That's why you didn't really see me around for a bit, but... JB, man, the smoking is real bad. Re real bad. I had a few days. But you ain't clean now. Exactly, okay? And now your ass gonna lose every fucking thing unless I help you, right? I heard this shit before. JB ain't doing so good. JB ain't well. JB's your cousin. He ain't my fucking cousin. Look, your mama smoked, nigga. You know what it's like. Don't you have a heart? I don't have much of a heart. But by doing this, I don't have much of a brain either. I love you, Franklin. I mean, I don't know what you want me to say. JB, appreciate all you're doing. Just one more job with me, and I promise this is gonna be the last time. It better be. Now bring your ass on. Come on. You run out on me, Franklin Clinton! I'm sorry, I ain't mean that. The intellectual thug is victorious. So you wanna hit? Hell no. Nah. What happened to you, Tanya? You used to be a good girl. Even good girls need some sugar on their cereal. Days get long on the block. You know how it is. No, I don't know how it is. Why don't you get out the hood? Away from JB. I love that nigga, man, but he bad news. What, like you? Like Tanisha? Find me some rich lawyer or doctor? That ain't real. Maybe JB ain't going places, but you know who he is? If he went his ass to work, that'll be a start. Aye. Show me how good you got since last time. Unless you talk in 420, then we got a date. Man, ain't this like the fifth time? Ain't there any other fools out there you can guilt trip into working for no pay? You in the groove now, Franklin. And you and JB was homies before you had hair on your balls. Yeah, so you keep telling me. I still remember that time your grandpa caught you and JB slinging cigarettes. <laughs> Chased you all over South LS. Yeah, man, shit, that was a good hustle while it lasted. You still kicking it with that shit, Tonka Lamar? Oh, yeah, shit, I'm stuck with that fool forever. We didn't have much, but we did it right on Form Drive. You've forgotten how this works. Watch it, Franklin. Gonna be none of that car left. There it is. Okay. Fool on the radio said drop it at the repair shop. I think there's one on Adams Apple Boulevard. I'd say you about earned a tow job of your own. Come on, Tanya. I told you you better than that. 
Don't get all high and mighty. You no different. You ain't afraid to use what you got to get paid. Man, what are you talking about? I heard about you, rep boying on the side, selling yourself. What? That's what people are saying. You know Sharonda's cousin, Kiera's nephew, Deontay? Skinny kid with the big head? They call him Golf Club. No, I don't know Sharonda's cousin, nephew. He saw you with a rich white boy. I ain't judging. <laughs> I mean, we all got bills to pay. Man, that's so messed up, I don't even know where to start. Crackhead ass grapevine really outdone they self this time. That should do it. Can you give me a ride back to the yard? Like I don't got nothing else better to do than drive your ass around. JB will make it up to you as soon as he gets back on his feet. Yeah, I heard that one before. We'll get some drink, get some smoke, get some good food, do it right. Me, you, JB, Tanisha, if you want. Now that ain't happening. Okay, you, me, JB, and that clown Lamar Davies, old school. If you ain't too busy rent boying, that is. <laughs> Fuck you. Solid, Franklin. Thanks again, baby. Don't be a stranger. Oh shit, man. Some other dude is better than that. Again. How does that make you feel? Good. It makes you feel good? So you're fine with your woman out here with a You move and I'll shoot. The answer's no. She, I think about it. Join the party. So I take it I can count on your attendance, friend. Huh? At the smoking. We're what? Yeah, we're gonna bring down the government by smoking weed together in a public place. It's very effective. I'm prepared to be a martyr, friend. Are you? Shit, if being a martyr means to smoke good weed, for sure. Would you like a little warm up? You know, before you go and collect the supplies? Before I what? You know, get the supplies. Can't have a smoke in without smoke. You know. Cerebral stuff that's gonna get the people up off their feet protesting. Man, I don't know. It sounds kind of bullshit to me. We're gonna crush them with our resolve. Here. <clears throat> Have a little taste of that. <clears throat> hmm. Just a mellow, sophisticated high. Man, this seems a little dry. Can't you see the aliens? Man, what else are you taking? Man, this shit is garbage. Anyway, just get the stuff. It's a revolution, and then call me. Crazy motherfucker. San Andreas needs you. 
I I'll text you where the stuff is. Hey, go quick before someone sees you. And look out for the cops and the monsters. They're everywhere. I'm being watched. The cops are on to me. Get out of here. You know too much. What in the hell? Are you listening to me? Go now. We can't be seen together. Well, that's really rude. You got the extra.
What's up, man? Sit down and face forward. Now, I don't have a lot of time. I know you need money. Did Michael tell you about Life Invader? Oh, shit. Y'all two did that? Look forward. We're two strangers having a friendly chat. And don't pretend that you liked Jane Norris. Oh, man, I don't know, homie. I mean, yeah, the dude I source worked the child slaves. Then stole and sold everybody's private information. And even ripped his own friend's ideas off and walked around like the Messiah while doing it, but... Man, I don't think the nigga deserved to have his fucking head blowed off on TV. Oh, well, aren't you just a moral majority? You know, that's why the world is the way it is today, when a paid thug gets all namby-pamby when someone asks him to act like a paid thug and for a good cause. Man, check this out, homie. I like blowing motherfucking fools' heads off just as much as the next psychotic asshole. But I just don't look at the shit as doing a good deed. Well, now you can, because it's not fools' heads, it's assholes' heads. And not just heads, you know, trashing cars or planning lies, forging evidence, anything we can do to take the battle back to these turds. You know, we'll fix the market in our favor and we'll right a few wrongs while we're at it. <laughs> Shit, okay, cool. Right, so, you heard of Mollus? Hell yeah. Okay, so there's a new Mollus, sort of a super Mollus, and it's called Priapolds. It's giving the living rigor mortis. Only Brett Lowry, CEO of Bilkington Research, paid off the FDA. Now, he doesn't care that his hardness pills are giving desperate middle-aged men the world over heart attacks. Damn, man, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Now, Mr. Greedy Lowry is staying at the Von Krastenberg Hotel in Richmond. Of course, he'll be well protected, but if he goes away, then America goes back to using Mollus, and Beta Pharmaceuticals gets a big bump in the price of their stock. Damn, man, all right, fuck it, I got you. I thought that you would. Now, consider using a sniper rifle or sticky bombs, you know, whatever. Do it your way, however you want. I'm gonna make the investment, but we don't speak about this or anything. Now walk away, and I'll stay here till you're gone. <laughs> 